right now at 530, the president of the embattled organization Planned Parenthood is set to testify before a House committee today. We'll have more on what that means for the government. Also on WKYT this morning, friends, family, and teammates of a former EKU football player are mourning his death after a car crash. Today, voters in Berea could decide whether or not they want alcohol sold by drink in certain restaurants. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning from WKYT News. Welcome in. Here we are on Tuesday. It's September 29th. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. It is a potentially a long sleeve shirt kind of day, an umbrella kind of day. Yeah, we do have some uh, rain out there. And you're right, uh, the, the sprinkles are kind of chilly out there this yeah. morning. Uh, we're in for a change. Let's check in with meteorologist Micah Harris. Good morning. Hey, good morning. And this is the start of that change where we get the rain first, then the front moves through, then so a big blast of cooler air back behind that. Some heavier downpours back toward the west. But other than that, there's some light rain out and about making for pretty ugly travel this morning. You might have to add a few extra minutes uh, for that commute to your destination. But you can see the heaviest rain back toward Taylor County and also Marion County, and then work your way just to the north there, heading into Lawrenceburg, just north of you guys. It's really in northern portions of Anderson County. So Lawrenceburg, you did get some rain, uh, but the heaviest rain right now is actually just to the north. Now, we'll look through the out the day, and uh, yeah, those icons aren't changing. It's on and off rain chances all day long. That'll take you through tomorrow, too. It's a long journey with this rain. We'll get into that forecast, and I'll show you how cool our temperatures get. Coming up. Okay, see you then. Thank you. Happening today, the president of Planned Parenthood is set to testify before a House committee in defense of federal funding for the organization. The hearing comes just a day before the federal government is set to run out of money at midnight tomorrow. The organization has come under fire. Fire after the release of some secretly recorded videos. WKYT's Hillary Thornton is joining us from the Planned Parenthood Clinic in Lexington. Hillary? As the president of Planned Parenthood testifies today, several organizations plan to hold a rally here in Lexington outside of their office on Southland Drive. Cecile Richards will testify before a House Oversight Committee in defense of federal funding for the organization. The hearing comes just one day before the government is due to run out of money. Richards will field questions from lawmakers on Capitol Hill, some who are still upset after the release of secretly recorded videos that show employees discussing the use of aborted fetal tissue in medical research. The organization's president aggressively defends Planned Parenthood, saying the practice is just a small part of what it does for millions of women across the country and that they are, quote, proud of its limited role in supporting fetal tissue research. Now, many conservatives, including Republican presidential candidate Ted Cruz, have sought to end federal funding for the organization. It is essentially a blank check to Barack Obama. That's not very clean to me. That actually sounds like a very dirty funding bill. The rally for Planned Parenthood here in Lexington is scheduled to start at 11:30 today in Lexington. Hillary Thornton, WKYT. All right, Hillary, thank you. We'll keep track of that today. And this morning, we have learned more about the Eastern Kentucky University football player who died in a crash over the weekend. Teammates and coaches of 19 year old Joey Kramer say he was a down to earth guy who always had a smile on his face. On, others described him as a man of integrity and honor. Investigators say an off duty fireman drove up to a wrecked car in Madison County and found Kramer dead inside. He had only moved to Kentucky about two months ago. As EKU prepares to play UK Saturday, Kramer's teammates say they are finding strength on the field where Kramer found comfort. I needed it. Um, football is my safe haven, so I went out there and just played for Joey. Even when you're down like I am now and like our whole team is, he would put a smile on your face. Kramer will be honored during the playing of my old Kentucky home before the game between UK and EKU kicks off Saturday night. Fifth Third Bank has agreed to pay millions of dollars after being sued for charging black and Hispanic customers higher rates for auto loans. Federal officials say the $18 million settlement will compensate those who were overcharged. U.S. Attorney General Loretta Lynch recently filed a civil action against the company for its discrimination. The lawsuit states that thousands of black and Hispanics were obligated to pay around $200 more over the life of their loans than all other races. 
Well, today the community of Berea will be voting on whether or not they want to allow alcohol to be served in certain larger restaurants. It would be a big change for that city. More than a thousand people signed a petition to put the issue on the ballot for a special election. WKOH's Mark Barber is joining us from Berea this morning. Good morning, Rebecca and Bill. Poll workers are already here. It is still early, but they are setting up for this special election. In about 30 minutes, voters will start pouring into this gym here at the Berea Community College, and they will decide if they want to allow the sale of alcohol in larger restaurants. Now, this measure was put on the ballot after more than a thousand people signed a petition to vote on the issue. If it passes, Berea would allow restaurants to serve alcohol by the glass if the restaurant seats at least 50 people and makes 70 percent of their sales off food. Unlike uh, Richmond in Madison County, Berea will not allow package stores or bars to open in the city. In a community that has long banned the sale of alcohol, this is a very hot button issue. On one side, you have the mayor who thinks the alcohol sales could boost the local economy. On the other end of the issue, you have pastors who worry that the sale of alcohol will open the door to a host of social problems. Now, this is not the first time that this has been put to a vote. Two previous votes that would have allowed alcohol sales within the city limits have both failed. Now, again, voters will have another chance to decide that issue today. Polls will be open from 6 a.m. until 6 p.m. here at the Berea Community College. Live in Berea, I'm Mark Barber, WKYT. All right, a big day there. Thanks so much, Mark. Police say that Walmart hopes to reopen their Breathitt County location this Thursday after a rock slide damaged it. The rocks crashed into the back wall of the Jackson Walmart around midnight Monday, just as it was closing up for the night. Walmart sits against the side of a mountain. Crews spent most of yesterday removing all the rocks and beginning repairs to the building. Nobody was injured, but customers we spoke with say their rock slide is frustrating. I hope it opens soon because. It's about the only shopping center we got here besides Hazard, and I really don't feel like driving to Hazard right now. Walmart is asking anyone who has prescriptions they need filled to go to the Walmart in Hazard. This morning, police in Louisville say a man is behind bars for selling ecstasy pills with Disney characters on them. Police say 32 year old Kenneth Price had the pills in his possession when they pulled over his car for traffic violations. They say they don't think the Disney designs were used to trick children, but instead, police believe they're a marketing tool for drug dealers. It's kind of a younger uh, crowd that uses that type of drug, and the, the, the drug dealers, when they're marketing that product, is a way to show I'm John Smith and this is my my ecstasy is really good it's better than than Bill Smith's ecstasy Price is facing four charges including possession of a controlled substance Students got the first crack at Big Blue Madness tickets a record crowd showed up last night for the student lottery but only 500 students were randomly chosen The rest are now up for grabs but they won't be available until Friday at 10 p.m. Still people are already patiently waiting along Avenue of Champions according to UK's policy fans can't start camping outside Memorial Coliseum until 5 a.m. tomorrow but until then, those already in line have to wait across the street. Now, fans we spoke with say the longer you wait to come out, the less likely you are to get tickets. If you come out Wednesday when they tell you to come out, um, you're going to get into the uppers or you might not even get a ticket. Fans can also get Big Blue Madness tickets online at Ticketmaster.com, and they'll be available at the same time as they are at Memorial. Again, that is Friday night at 10. Tickets for UK's annual blue and white scrimmage will be available at 9 o'clock this morning. The cost of the tickets $10 for lower level seating, 5 bucks for upper. Tickets will also be available online through Ticketmaster.com. The blue white scrimmage will be held October 27th, 7 p.m. at Rupp Arena. Fall is here, and with it comes the notorious influx of pumpkin flavors. I'm drinking some. Uh, tea like that right now. It's easy to think with all the varieties of pumpkin coffees and treats, actual pumpkin sales will be doing pretty well, but they're apparently not. Last year, pumpkin spice products brought in $361 million, which is a 71% increase since 2011. In that same time span, actual pumpkin sales have dropped $8.3 million nationally. But even though actual pumpkin sales are down, agritourists say they are still benefiting from the pumpkin 
craze. Well, you know, some of the pumpkins are really expensive. If you're getting an impulse pumpkin <laughs> purchase, <Right>. <laughs> but you Ooh. know, there they are. They just look uh, there for the taking. You, you know, know, you gotta have one on your front porch. Yeah, they're beautiful. It's right? a tradition. You know, this time of year. All right, 5:40 is the time. A major discovery on Mars shows there could be life on the red planet. The news announced by NASA has scientists around the world in awe. Chip Reed reports from NASA headquarters in DC. Scientists have been puzzled over the past few years by photos from a NASA satellite showing long black streaks on Mars that seem to flow downhill in warmer months, then disappear when extreme cold returns. Mars is not the dry, arid planet that we thought of in the past. Jim Green is director of planetary science. Liquid water has been found on Mars. The water is salty, which explains how it can be in liquid form in such cold temperatures. Everywhere we go where there's liquid water, whether it's deep in the earth or um, uh, in the arid regions, uh, we find life. This is tremendously exciting. When many people think of life on Mars, they think of Hollywood's version, like this. Or maybe this. But what scientists are thinking about is this. Microbes, so tiny, millions could fit in the eye of a needle. Water on Mars, though, is important for other reasons, too. So you found water. What are the next steps? What do you plan to do with this information? Drink it. <laughs> NASA's John Grunsfeld isn't kidding. Water on Mars could be a lifesaver for future astronauts. Chip Reed, CBS News, Washington. Okay, you go first if we're drinking a Martian water, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Me first, huh? Oh, no, we won't draw straws for that. <laughs> yeah, don't know about that one yet. Uh, 542 on WKYT this morning. Let's check live drive traffic and see what is going on out here early on this Tuesday. Let's take a look at the Waze map. Traffic appears to be moving pretty smooth, steady, no collisions. Just remember to take it slow because, of course, there's some rain, so that can cause some uh, slick spots out there. Yeah, some puddling of water out there uh, likely this morning because those showers can come down. Uh, Pretty intensely at times. They can, especially if you're on the interstate. Sometimes when it starts coming yep. down in sheets, that can there be scary. Go. Wipers on. Mm. And uh, hope you have a good ride in this morning. All right, more news coming right up. We've all heard how dogs hate mailmen, <laughs> but it seems like monkeys have a little bit of a beef with them as well. We'll show you more of this mail eating monkey after weather. And a lot of rain out there this morning, especially back toward the west, as we're looking for those scattered showers. Making their way through the day. We'll get into that latest forecast. I'll show you a wet one coming up.